<laughs> okay. Hey everyone, it's Ashley from All About That Paint and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will walk you through how to blend paint colors. So I use Dixie Belle's chalk paint and I use two different colors. I used a darker blue, which is Stormy Seas, and a lighter blue, which is Vintage Duck Egg. And I blended them together to create a custom blend on this dresser behind me. So I will walk you through step-by-step step how I did that. And I will also show you how I stained the top a cappuccino color. So stay tuned and watch. And if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe. Thanks, bye. Okay, so here's the dresser that I picked up on the Nextdoor app. And the first thing I always do is take off the hardware and then I spray it down with white lightning cleaner and then spray it down with water after and wipe it all down. Now it's time to sand the piece and usually I start with an 80 grit, then I move on to 150 grit, and then lastly a 220 grit to get a smooth finish. So here I am staining the top and I used the Fusion Mineral Paints All-in-One Stain and Finishing Oil and I used the natural color. Okay, so here's the part where I'm gonna show you how to blend the paint colors. So the first color that I'm putting on here is the darker color. This is Stormy Seas. It's Dixie Belle product. And I'm just gonna start by putting it on the top and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a border around the drawer. So if you continue to watch, you'll see that I just follow the border of the drawer make a big rectangle, I guess you could call it. And then in the center, I'm going to put the lighter color, which is the vintage duck egg. And I have three separate brushes. So I have one brush for the stormy seas, one brush for the vintage duck egg, and then one clean brush that I use to blend the paints. So this is the vintage duck egg that I'm putting on. And I also have a spray bottle mister that helps you to move the paint around the piece. So if you spray your brush, so this is the, um, the brush that I'm using right now is my clean brush. And that's what I'm gonna use to start blending the paint. I just kind of work along the border and then I'll go up and down and across And I'm actually adding a little bit darker. I'm adding more of the stormy seas there because I wanted to make it a little darker on the edge. It was a little too light. So this is me just adding more of stormy seas. And then this is my clean brush. I keep wiping it in between um, passes so that it stays clean. And that's my blending brush, I guess you want to call it. So there we go. So then I'm gonna move on to another section and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Here I am putting on the stormy seas again and I'm just gonna make a little border. Keep making that border. I'm gonna square off the drawers there with the stormy seas and then put the vintage duck egg in the center.
So I spray the brush with the mister, apply the vintage duck egg, and then I'm also, you can spray the actual drawer with a mister to keep the paint wet because that helps it blend together better. So see, there I go. I'm going to mist it and then blend with my blending brush. That's my clean brush. And I'll kind of go in a rectangular motion along the lines of the paint and then I do up and down and then horizontal. And then I'm just adding darker, more of the stormy seas because I didn't like how light it was once I blended it. So I'll just add more of the darker color and then I'll just keep blending to get it where I like it. That's why I keep sitting back to look at it. <laughs> Okay, so once again, I did the border with the Stormy Seas. That's the darker color. And then in the center, I'm putting the Vintage Duck Egg. And then I'm going to take my blending brush, which is my clean brush, and I'm going to blend it. But first, I did a spray. I'm not sure if you saw that. It was really quick. But I sprayed the whole drawer with my mister. And then I started blending. And I usually go along the border first, and then I'll go up and down and then across again. And here I am just adding a little bit more of the stormy seas along the edges there because it needed to be a little darker. I didn't like how light it was. So that's all I'm doing here. Okay, on to the side of the dresser. Now, the side of the dresser is a little bit more difficult. Well, at least for me, it's a little bit more difficult to blend the paint. It takes a little bit longer and a little bit more patience. Um, it's just a larger area. So um, to get that blend looking um, perfect <laughs> is difficult. So here I am just adding the stormy seas again to the outside of the dresser or the outside edges. And then I'm going to take the vintage duck egg, the lighter color, and fill in the center. So vintage duck egg going in the center there. And then after that, I'm gonna take my blending brush, which is my clean brush and work on blending the two borders. So here comes the clean blending. Spray the piece first, get it wet, and that helps you blend the paint better. 
So I'm trying to just work in that rectangle. I'm trying to work those two paints where they come together. Now I'm going across horizontally and then I'm gonna go back vertically. And I'm gonna do this a number of times actually so that I can get it nice and blended. But like I said, it's, it's harder to do it on the side than it is on the drawers. It's just a larger area and it takes more patience. So I'm going to add more dark, more stormy seas, and then blend it in. And that's it. All right, so here I am. I'm actually restaining the top. I didn't like how the natural stain turned out. It actually turned out a lot lighter than I had expected. So I went ahead and restained the top, and this time I used Dixie Belle's No Pain Gel Stain in the walnut color. So here I am just rubbing it on with a lint-free cloth. And I actually think it turned out much better darker. It just made the blue color pop more. So I was very pleased with that. All right, so now the dresser is all ready for the top coat. And here I am putting on the top coat. It is Dixie Belle's Gator Hide. So it's pretty durable. And I applied two coats of the Gator Hide just because this is a dresser and someone may be placing stuff on top of the dresser and it just gives added protection. I wanted to mention that to apply the top coat, I used a sponge applicator and I like the sponge applicators because it allows the coat to go on smoothly and evenly. Okay, once again, the dreaded hardware. I don't know why I always have issues with the hardware, but here I am. I decided that I was gonna keep the original hardware, but I wanted to spray paint it black. So I started spraying it and it would not spray from my can very well. As you can see, I'm struggling. So I got the first coat on, but there were a lot of bubbles in it and it just wasn't smooth, it wasn't even. So I decided to sand off the spray paint. And in the process of doing that, I actually really liked how it turned out. I left some of the black around the edges and I think it gave it a really cool look. So 
it's a lot of work to do. I wouldn't recommend doing it this way, but um, I ended up doing it this way because I kind of had to, and I liked how it turned out. So here you can see, you can see that black around the edges. It looks pretty cool and gives it a little vintage antique vibe. And that's a wrap. On to the next flip. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I do not like that. Gonna be a beginner's guide <clears throat> through how to create a your own. <clears throat> Frog in my throat. Uh, colorblind? That doesn't make sense. Okay. Start over. Hey everyone, it's Ashley from All About That Paint and welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, the next, uh, the, oh my gosh. So, yeah. <laughs> Lighter color to create a custom blend. In this, on this dresser, ah, oh, huh? So I use Dixie Belle's chalk paint to blend two different colors oh, tongue tie tongue them together to create a custom blend so if you want to see how that happens stay tuned and watch and ugh. blend it blend it hey everyone it's ashley from all about that 